Uh, as you indicated last episode, we're going to talk about hydropower today. And when you talk about being optimistic and realistic, I think that uh, hydropower actually fits that bill. Absolutely. This is tech that's been out for more than 100 years, and we've already seen it at scale powering huge cities. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. One stat I came across in, in looking at this was that um, I guess China, this is prior to their economic start, economic boom of the past uh, 35 years, 40 years. Um, they had um, just so many dams, but all, but most of them were very, very small scale. So I don't know whether or not it was like 70,000 or 100,000 dams or what have you, but just an enormous number of dams that they estimated because it was just a, a main way for local areas to get some power that was fairly reliable. And so, you know, as you said, this technology has been around for a long, long time, relied upon by people who aren't necessarily experts, but uh, can, can make use of this the, the technology using the water flow and then create some electricity. But of course, when the state gets involved, uh, uh, then tremendous things can happen. Yeah. And in fact, if we're talking not just about hydroelectric, but hydro energy in general, rivers have consistently been the source of energy and productivity for civilizations since the dawn of time. The early industrial revolution, before factories were powered by coal, were in fact powered by water mills.